Ah, so refreshing. You're taking a vacation to Australia, feeling the warm desert heat and watching the kangaroos hop on by, when all of a sudden, boom, you're bit by a snake. Oh no, what do we do? Whoa, there's more. Hundreds of snakes start slithering out and towards you, and they start biting you everywhere. And just then, you wake up. It was all just a dream. But we should know how venoms work just in case this horrible, horrible situation ever happens to you in the future. First of all, what is a venom and how does it hurt you? And will anti-venoms actually protect you? A venom is an animal-made toxin that gets into your body, usually through an injection. There are three different types of venoms, and they all attack your body in different ways. Hemotoxic venom destroys red blood cells, kills cells and tissue, and generally attacks our cardiovascular system. It can lead to organ failure and heart failure. Neurotoxic venom affects the nervous system by making neurons continuously fire. This leads to muscle spasms and lack of muscle control, including muscles that help us breathe. Cytotoxic, also known as necrotic venom, is more local and kills cells near the bite site. It can lead to inflammation, blisters, lesions, and tissue death. So what are venoms? What are they made of? It's a combination of proteins and enzymes that work together to cause damage to our bodies. Venoms are not made of a single protein or a magical toxin that causes all of these issues. They are proteins made of the same building blocks as the proteins in our bodies. Animals create venoms to protect themselves or to debilitate prey for easier catch and digestion. There are many venomous snakes, fish, frogs, spiders, scorpions, octopuses, centipedes, bees, and wasps, and more. Obviously these venomous animals are so populous because having venom is very often advantageous. So are there any ways to beat venoms? Well, obviously the animals themselves must have found a way, right? Well, kind of. Venoms are made of proteins and enzymes, and if stored in the right location, they will not be harmful. Though I highly recommend against this. If you drink a vial of the most venomous substance on the planet, you will not be harmed because our stomachs break down the proteins. If these proteins can be made, they can be broken down. Venoms can also be hindered by antibodies, also known as antivenom. The antibodies will attach to the protein, either making it useless or marking it for destruction by other cells. Animals often have antibodies for their own venom, but surprisingly, they can still die if they bite or sting themselves. So hopefully you never get attacked by hundreds of venomous snakes, but if you do, let's hope there's some antivenom nearby. It's probably your only hope. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.